Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're doing a Jan January bullet journal. Yeah. So this is just the same one that I had last year. See, so look. But uh, I'm starting 2019 here because I'm only halfway through the book. So first we're just having, you know, the starter page. I thought this year I'd go for a more of a minimal look. This is going to be like no pictures or anything because I can't draw. So I thought there was no point trying anymore. Yeah. So this is me just putting in the dates. Um, and as we go to the next page, um, I've decided not to do resolutions this year. So normally, you'd like you do New Year's resolutions and say, you know, I want to like lose weight or get more followers. But like, I chose that I didn't want to do that this year. I just want to be happier and healthier. So I thought this would be a better way of doing that. So what we're going to look at is how I currently view myself. So I put down three words or phrases to describe myself and then how I want myself to look in 2020. Not like physically look, just you know, you know, how I see myself. So, and then I've left some space below for like any goals that I complete in the year because I did this last year and I thought it was actually really nice to see going back like things that I did throughout the year. I'm not right there at the bottom yet, but I shall. And the next, so this is just a monthly view. I did a calendar view last year and I never really used it. I don't think I'll use it this much this year, but I thought this was less waste of paper because they used two pages last year. Whereas this is just one and then I could put something next to it. Wow, I take forever to write down numbers, don't I? As the page next to it anyway is just um so three goals that I want to complete this month. So I've seen this on a different bullet journal. If I can remember, I shall put the name on screen. This is like a pre-made journal and it just says um I d I don't know, so it says like three goals for the month and then you do three goals for the week and three goals for the day. I'm not doing three goals for the day. Um I'm just doing three goals to achieve this month and then I'll do three goals a week not for a day because I feel that's unrealistic for me because I like you know the work goals these are life goals yeah so that's that I've left some room below for other stuff you know I can write on other things that I achieved or anything else really how I can achieve them that'll also come into my next page which is my weekly page so at the top it just says week and then obviously I write down the the week dates like you know more day it ends and then the big three that's where I put down my three goals and then the to-do list at the bottom and then I have the big section next to it on the same page to put whatever I like and then I've also left a page next to it to journal because I really enjoyed doing that I find that it relieves a lot of stress I don't know why my camera did that weird flashy thing either by the way it's just happened. Yeah. So that's that page pretty much summed up. I'm just finishing these boxes off. Yeah. I've enjoyed my Christmas. It's time to get back into a healthy routine, though. I feel I've spent far too long eating chocolate and sweets and doing nothing. So I thought this was a good way to start up. And then this is also from the same bullet journal thing that I stole something from it's called the weekend optimizer so I think I'm going to get rid of this top bit but I thought I'd try it out anyway it's really the bottom half of this page that I really thought would be good so at the top it says how much do you want to sleep and would you also like a nap I love to have a nap on the weekend I'm not gonna lie but like I thought this was a good way to measure out how much I was sleeping how much I wanted to and how much I actually did um because my Fitbit tells me how much I actually do. So I could write that on you. And then it says, how will I get this much sleep? And then there's five lines for how I think I'll get enough sleep. But then the next two boxes are things I want to do that are fun this weekend. And things that I must do this weekend. And I feel that this was really the path that I wanted to do. Because I find that some weekends I just do nothing. And I don't do anything fun. I just sit in the house in my pyjamas. Moping about and complaining that the weekend's ended. So, I thought this would be a great way to make sure that I'm making the most of my weekend. Um, yeah, and then the last one is things that I must do because, you know, as an adult, sadly, there's things you have to do on the weekend. For instance, next weekend, I have to go to the skip. How fun. 
Um, yeah, I've got a crossing out there. I know it, that probably bugs a lot of people, but I am a messy person and that's more my brain is like I'm used to it by now. So it doesn't particularly bother me. I find if things are too neat, I find that I don't want to write in them because I know I'm going to mess it up straight away. So it does not bother me that it is messy or that the line is going through the W. <laughs> but yes, so that is really it. I want to add colour. But I couldn't find my pen, um, pencils even, I couldn't find my colour and pencils. I just wanted to um, add a bit of colour on the, my calendar and so that like I can see the lines. Because I find these dotted lines very hard to stay on one line and not kind of go skew if and down a line and just mess it up really. Yeah, so that's it. Next I'm just going to be rubbing out all of, all of the pencil marks. From the start. Oh, and adding a couple lines extra when I realise that I've missed some things. E.g. there. That's it for my January um, bullet journal. As I said, very minimalist this time. I thought that this would be best for me because I find that I end up doing quite a minimalist, less colour one anyway. I just colour for emphasising things that I actually need because colour really stands out then, you know, that's what it's for really to highlight the important bits well, that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed if you did, please like and subscribe uh, all below, as you know and comment if you want to let me know what you've got in your bullet journal yeah, so hope to see you in the next video, thanks, bye